My birds and my scars don't limit me from doing anything, you know? They don't stop me. I am unstoppable. <laughs> If I could go back and change my scars, I would not. If someone gave me a magical pill that would change my scars, I would not. If a genie gave me three wishes, none of those three wishes would have anything to do with my scars. I would ask for a bigger bank account, a bigger ass, and, <laughs> and that's about it. There would be nothing with my scars because my scars have put me in positions where I could help other people. My scars cover over 60% of my body, ranging from my face, my shoulder, my thighs, and my back. I was burned exactly at two years old. I'm 27 now, so. Well, um, the story that I got was in the kitchen unattended, and there was a pot of butter on the stove of someone was melting butter and um, apparently I grabbed the pot and pulled it onto myself. So this is when I was about a year old, so about a year before the accident. This is me at a couple months old, looks just like my daughter. Mama's trying to find pictures of her when she was little. Yeah, she's definitely little. My little twin was interesting is I would get to see what I would have looked like if I wasn't burned by watching her grow up. I can't really pinpoint the incident exactly. I do have more memories of like the surgeries and the hospital stays. And this is our pictures from me being in the hospital. I remember I had to wear like a plastic mask over my face to keep the swelling down. I remember wearing eye patches. I just I remember being poked and prodded. You know, I remember those things. So from the ages of two to 17, every other year I was under the knife or in some type of therapy or something along those lines. That is me a couple months before the accident. And that's me now on the, at the present. Can you see pictures? Who's that? Is mommy? Mommy. Mommy? Who is that? A baby. That's you. Baby. You? Baby. That's you. Baby? Yeah, that's you though. I know that my child would be a lot more sensitive to people who are different mm -hmm. because, um, you know, she has me. And I would just basically tell her that, you know, the world is a big place and not everyone looks the same. Your mom looks different. Uh-oh. Say excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I would say I realized Alyssa was different when I was about, mm, about six or seven. When they bullied her or talked about her, I usually got mad. They would make fun of her because she had a patch, so they used to call her a pirate. I had some rough times, you know, because kids are, are blunt. School was difficult all the way up until middle school. And then literally one day just woke up. I almost say between probably like 15, 16. I woke up like, look, there's absolutely nothing in this world that you can do about being burned. You cannot change it. So why dwell on it, you know? Why make it a problem? Come here, honey, let's put on. So one day I was just like, forget about it. I'm over it, completely over it. Currently, I am a certified nurse's assistant, so I work in long-term healthcare. But my life's dream and my life's goal is to be a motivational speaker. I have a page called I Wear My Floss Like Diamonds. My goal is to really, is to help men and women 
who struggle with what they see in the mirror. It's very hard, I know. My page is about is showing people that it is possible to live your life confidently, no matter how you look. So that's basically what I'm here for, is to show people that it is possible. It doesn't really matter what you look like. It's all about your attitude and your personality on the inside and that eventually shine through on the outside. I share pictures of me, you know, just bare me doing me, me being me. And um, people were like, hey, I like that you're so confident. My burns put me in a position where I had no choice but to be confident. I couldn't back down. I'm in a spotlight everywhere I go. You know, so I have to be confident because everyone's gonna see me. When I walk into a room, I am the thing that everyone's looking at. <laughs> Yay! Your turn. Look. If I could describe Alyssa in one word, it would be strong. She knows that she's different, but she knows that she can do whatever it is that she wants and needs to do. She's a very strong woman, like for the fact that she does have a whole mass scar on her face and her back and all this other stuff, and she still lives the life as Alyssa McDonald, and she doesn't let anything get in her way. Shoot, my product moment is getting up every day and conquering <laughs> the world. That is my proudest moment, that I get up every day and I do what I need to do. I will not change, I will never change my scars. They make me who I am, they really do.